considers this their living room. It's where they go before and after practice, where they watch film and where they just hang out. As you can see now, it's destroyed. But they say this won't stop them from winning on the field. One, two, three. Right. So much tradition through the years have been through this building in our weight room, so it's, it's you know, a tough day. It's a place where champions are made. Bakersfield High School's head football coach, Paul Gola, used to tell his players this weight room produced the most successful football program in the state, but not after last night's fire that caused at least $100,000 in damages. Team captain Lamont Whitehead says he liked being here almost as much as he liked being on the field. This thing's been here for years, and we love coming in the coach's office, hanging out, you know, just being a family. But now we can't do that. Huh? About that TV later? Oh, yeah. But the coach says the 140 players in his program may not learn to be better on the field after this, but they will learn a lesson about life. Our kids have gone through a lot, and they need to know, hey, every negative and positive is going to come out of it. Already this year, the team has suffered big blows and come out of it. We've been facing adversity. Uh, first with our friend, and good friend Vernon, good getting in a car accident and then our friend Tyler Kay getting hurt on the field and now this and it, it, it just keeps coming we keep fighting it. On the field the team keeps fighting as well. At 6-2 and two this season it's their best record in recent years and the team is getting ready to play rival East Bakersfield on Friday. From Bakersfield High School I'm Jennifer Musa for 29 Eyewitness News. In a late night fire at Bakersfield High School the training facility used by the football team was partially destroyed. 23 ABC's Leticia Juarez tells us why team members say it's just another obstacle they'll have to overcome. Bakersfield firefighters tried to save as much of the driller's team room as possible late Tuesday night. The two alarm fire gutted the restroom and spread quickly to the attic. This morning, players arrived as they do every morning to practice to find the charred and smoky remains of their training facility. I was really surprised to see something like this happen. Uh, I was sad because that's kind of like our home. That's where we go every day in the morning and after school and meet and watch films. Fire investigators say arson is the likely cause. The blaze broke out in a trash can in the restroom. Coach Scritchfield got here and, uh, and uh, he, he said it was, it was pretty ugly. I mean, he, he had tears in his eyes watching it up in flames. The fire is another setback for the team. Already this year, they have lost several team members due to disciplinary action, followed by another member's hospitalization after a car accident. Even so, this team says they're up to the challenge. You no, know, we just got to put this behind us. We have, we have, we had a lot of other adversities to go through, so I'm pretty sure we can get through this. Driller football players say that their team room was more than just a place they went to strategize their Friday night games. It was a place where they went to build the camaraderie they use right here on the field. We, man, we came real close in there. We had a lot of stories shared in there. There's a lot of memories in that building right there. So hopefully we can get it restored and, and just redo it again. The senior is hopeful their sponsors will step up and help them rebuild their team room in time for a new season next year. In Bakersfield, Leticia Juarez, 23 ABC News. The fire damage is estimated at $100,000. The drillers play away this Friday, but they'll return to play on their home field next week. Boys making news this half hour, a suspicious...